this marvelous Monday, February 4th. Hope you guys had a good weekend. And I hope you're ready to work hard in class today. Here we go. Um, here's the schedule for the week. Notice we'll have a quiz today and a quiz on Wednesday. Okay? We'll start reviewing for your test. Your test will not be until next Friday. Remember, there's no school on Monday and Tuesday. And I usually do not give tests on a Thursday. And so we'll finish reviewing for the test next Wednesday and take the test on Friday. Okay? So quiz today, quiz Wednesday, test next Friday. And here's the schedule for the week. Okay? Um, please turn this assignment in. It was given to you Friday. It's due today. Listen, listen, listen. Someone turned this assignment in early, which is good. They did not put their name on it. So I put it back in the folder. It says, so I forget what I wrote. Who is this? Or no name or something. So someone needs to put their name on it and turn it back in. Okay? Please take care of that so you get credit and completes. Uh, let's see. Uh, um, he, I don't think you took this quiz. So I am going to take some points off. Okay, okay. It was supposed to be taken by Friday. Tommy, if you have any questions or comments, you can email me. I don't want, I don't want to be mean, but all of this material here was done before you left on the quiz. Okay, so I'm being totally by the book. Now this here, guys, um, you have 10 days to make this up, so this must be taken by Friday, okay? So you have this week to do it. If you have a problem with that, just contact me and talk to me, okay? Tommy, if you would have had a problem with this and you would have contacted me, I probably could have worked with you. But guys, when I don't hear from you, I just have to follow through so students know that I say what I mean and mean what I say. So guys, so Tommy, if there's a problem with this for today, please let me know, okay? Um, if there's a problem with this, guys, by Friday, let me know. Just talk to me. Okay, moving on. Now, um, today we're going to take the quiz and finish your notes from Friday. That's all we're doing. So on Friday, we started this video here. Today we're going to finish it, okay? Dory, be sure and email your attendance to me. Homework exemption from this week. This is based on your semester average, okay? Not your nine weeks average, your semester average. So, um, now Ethan, if you look, you do, you do have an A average, but you're missing a quiz anytime any of you students are missing a quiz or a test, then you really don't have a true average, so you cannot be on the exemption list, okay? All right, Hannah, Tori, Jane, and Ryan Tracy, homework exemption this week. Congratulations to you guys. Here are the stats for quiz 16. You will find quiz 16 in the folder. And by the way, if anybody should be recognized for a high grade, and I forget to mention you, that happens sometimes when there's a lot of makeups, okay? So I'm sorry, I don't, I don't think that happened. But if it did, I'm sorry. Same thing with your test, too. Okay, quiz 16. First mistake was one point off. Second mistake was five points off. Every mistake thereafter was nine points off. Uh, it's great. The class was 90, uh, 90. I can't see your guys. I'm getting old. 99 for Ryan. 99 for Hannah. There were plenty of other A's, but those two were the two highest. Congratulations to them. Now, chapter test, uh, chapter six test. Each mistake was 2.4 points off. Okay? Highest grade in the class was Hannah and Tori. Both had 100s. Um, there were other A's too. So, congratulations to you guys. Okay? And of course, there's a video for your quiz corrections and for your test corrections. Um, please watch it. Watch those if you're able to. This one here is not required. This one here is because you 
your test corrections are due. By Monday. So please don't, sorry for yawning, please don't forget that. Test corrections are due by Monday. All right, let's go over today's quiz. I have emailed the quizzes to Mrs. Hicks and also to Mrs. Little. So please pause the video, get a copy of the quiz, and then restart the video. Okay, guys, one, two, and three. Simplify those as far as possible. Four and five. Add and multiply those two radicals. Remember, are you listening? For four and five, be sure and simplify your answers as far as they go. That's it, guys. Please get to work on your quiz and your notes. Have a great day. Contact me if you have any questions.